Music is the heart of the Harmony Project, but it's not really the point of it. It's understandable why, looking in from the outside, some people would think that it's just a choir. I mean, it's hard to ignore uh, 150 voices raising the roof or a thousand voices in a city park. And while it may be easy to label the Harmony Project as just a choir, this isn't about songs. This is about the people who sing the songs. up to its name. It's an experience of just being in harmony with people around the city that I never would have met otherwise. You meet people all the time, but I can say meeting a lot of these people, it's, it's, it's like family. You know, a lot of these people are, are just as supportive as my own family. The Harmony Project has changed my perspective by when I'm even downtown or just walking down the street and I even when I see a stranger, you know, it's like, I don't know this person, I shouldn't judge them, you know? And like, that's one of the ways that I try to incorporate it into everyday life. It's given me a, a good opportunity to meet other people in the community and do other things in the community. It, it really is what I believe that community is all about. When you look at a community, it's all, it should be diverse. And at the end of the day, as diverse as we may be, what I also love about that, in the midst of all that diversity, there's a unity. And that we are united with one mindset, and that is to share, to sing, and to serve. While music may be the heart of the Harmony Project, service is the mindset. Whether collecting toys or bikes for local children or serving a meal on Thanksgiving or even building a house, this approach is unique in that you work with people from different backgrounds and experiences, belief systems, or points of view. It's so rewarding to see what we can accomplish when we work together. Uh, the impact is far greater than if any of us had acted on our own. We serve those in our community whose voices had been silenced. Our Unison Project program gives voice to formerly homeless adults. Those who were once homeless sing, share, and serve with those who may have passed them on the street at one time. It's given me a sense of purpose and you know, something to do, something that's got me motivated. Reached out to us to make us feel at home and wanted, and that's important, and it's especially important when you're having difficulty. It has meant a lot to me. I still, still have Give yourself a chance. Give yourself a chance. Don't let other people's perceptions of you dictate how you feel about yourself. The members of the Unison Project were invited to share their stories with the Harmony Youth Program that we have at the Arts and College Preparatory Academy. Find out who you are and be okay in your own skin. That's all I have to say. Thank you. The Harmony Youth Program focuses on removing labels. The students utilize performance art, filmmaking, social media to strengthen their points of view. They meet people who share stories of what it means to be labeled or marginalized. And the students explore their own reactions to diversity and inclusion. Diversity is important because you can experience more when you're hanging with someone that's different than you. You know, just be yourselves and have fun. One of the main things the Harmony Project teaches is that you shouldn't really judge a book by its cover. And I think that's important in today's world. Just don't make enemies, don't do any dramas, and you know, be nice and other. Yeah, each day you can tell that the students are really like taking what they learned from the class. And, and you can see it in the hallways, you can see it in the students' faces. And it's just really cool, like, it's awesome. I love being here. Down today. 
want to be able to go around and promote diversity when it comes to dealing with people with special needs. One of the workshops with our Harmony Youth Program featured a guest from the Harmony Project Choir. Her name is Janae. Janae talked to the students about being blind and about the challenges that she has faced um, in a sighted community. But more than that, she talked to the kids about her goals, um, her dreams, and she encouraged them to be who they are. Blindness is a disability that not a lot of people understand because we're in a sighted society. And so everyone assumes that you need eyesight to do a lot of things, and that's not always true. I doubt that many of the choir members or even audience members give much thought to Janae's experience in rehearsal or in performance. I knew it would be a challenge for her to sing in the choir as our rehearsals are visual experiences. The arrangements may change from week to week, sometimes even in a performance. For Janae to be able to participate, someone had to be willing to share her experience. You know how I feel. Like many other people, I was drawn to the choir because I had an opportunity to not only sing, but serve. Um, what I didn't expect from my harmony experience was how that serving was going to change based on an introduction that I received. I walked in and was introduced to a new choir member and was asked would I be interested in sitting with her and helping her because she was blind. And it wasn't until probably about two or three rehearsals later that I realized, oh my lord, this is much bigger than I had anticipated because I'm not just walking her to her chair, getting her to a ride and giving her like a cue to start and stop but I'm giving her all the cues along the way. What I've learned over the last few concert seasons is that I'm not just giving her a cue. I'm actually getting something much bigger. We're telling a story. We have to be present not just for you know, the song, but for the words that we're saying and for the notes that we're saying. I have to do that because if I miss a cue, she misses a cue. And that ripple effect is huge. I really began to be much more grateful for this introduction and for sitting next to Janae each week and really having to be present in a way that enriches my experience, allows her to to be a part of this group in a way that's truly unique and then she can then go to the high school students and talk to them about her experience and breaking that stereotype of what it means to be blind. And it really is this wonderful kind of example of what Harmony Project is. One person says yes to giving a gift or to feeding a meal or to tapping a leg to give a cue. And it truly is remarkable and I'm really, really grateful. That tap on Janae's leg, well that's the tap heard round Columbus. And ultimately, that's the soul of the Harmony Project. Two hundred years ago, could those who laid the foundation for this city have imagined the multicultural community we've become? Could they have possibly imagined all of these faces and voices and life experiences? Could they have imagined the Harmony Project? I like to think that they could. And I like to imagine that what the Harmony Project is doing is laying the foundation for the next 200 years. I am in harmony. I am in harmony. I. 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 I'm in harmony. I. 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 Am in harmony. I am in harmony. I am in harmony. I am in harmony. We are in harmony. So yeah. Anything like that, Kim. We are in harmony. So that was like not. But don't make that face. What's this? This face. I am in harmony.